Hey everyone, today we're looking at the key stage three science level here, uh, the parts of a light microscope. It's not the most exciting lesson in this biology course, but there probably will be some questions on the test regarding this light microscope. So let's just get this over with. The top has the eyepiece lens. It's right in the name. You put your eye here to look through to see your sample. Some microscopes look a little different. This is the body tube. On the left, it's a little more clear. Then we have the handle. There might be a question about how do you carry a light microscope. Use the handle, of course. Then we have the rough focusing knob. This is going to make big changes when you're focusing, bigger than the next one. The microscope on the left has a rough or coarse focusing knob but it does not have a fine focusing knob like the microscope on the right does. This is going to make smaller changes in the movement and the focusing of your microscope. On the left, this is a mirror on the bottom. You have to point it towards a light source to get um, a good view at your sample, while the microscope on the right has a different light source, probably a light bulb in there because we can see it has a switch right next to it. On this microscope we have objective lenses, three of them, where on the microscope on the left there's only one objective lens. Here we have high, medium, and low power objective lenses. Maybe you can remember this by object. The, the sample you're looking at is the object, so the objective lens is near the sample. This is called the stage where you're going to put your samples. And here we have clips which hold the sample down onto the stage. So here are the steps. You might see some of these questions on your exam. Steps for using a light microscope. Step number one, prepare a slide with samples or objects you want to observe. Step number two, clip the slide onto the stage so it doesn't move around while you're trying to look at the very tiny things on it. Step number three, start with the lowest objective lens, the lowest power, low power. Then adjust the rough focusing knob first to get it as close to focused as you can. Then switch and adjust the fine focusing knob second to get a really clear picture, the most clear picture you can. And then finally, number six, if needed, switch to a higher power objective lens and refocus the rough and fine focusing knobs in steps four and five until you get as clear a picture as you want. All right, thanks for watching that. I hope you guys could pick up something from this video to help you through this kind of boring part of the KS3 biology. Um, I'll give you a couple seconds to take a screenshot now, and I'll see you next time. Bye!